EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marshall here with your outlook for the weekend, June 22nd and 23rd, 2019. And we have a fantastic, fantastic weekend on tap this weekend. Uh, today is going to be uh, much like yesterday, at least the latter part of yesterday, where temperatures are very similar in terms of high temperatures. We're going to be actually technically slightly below average, but it's still going to be very warm with temperatures getting to uh, the upper 70s north and uh, lower 80s further south and east. But we will be mostly sunny today, and we're expecting uh, mostly sunny skies again here on Sunday. Temperatures will bump up a little bit here on Sunday as well. Uh, here's a look at later on Sunday. See nothing going on here, so nothing but bright sunshine all weekend long. Lower humidity both days, but it will be about uh, 3 or 4 degrees warmer on Sunday than it will be on Saturday. So again, the Saturday is 78 to 82, northwest to southeast, and uh, Sunday's uh, about 3 to 4 degrees warmer than that across the board. So... Uh, very nice weekend coming up. Make sure you enjoy it because you don't get these too often where you have uh, just wall-to-wall -wall sunshine and near-perfect temperatures. So very warm. We're going to go from slightly below average today, slightly above average here on Sunday. And then we get to Monday. Uh, Monday, I think, is going to be dry the entire day. We have a warm front that's going to be approaching from the west. This is going to be uh, in association with this area, low pressure right here. The warm front's actually, actually situated like this. Cold front's back here like this. Okay, so... Uh, this is going to be moving toward the region and will come through overnight. So a few showers, mainly overnight. I would not be surprised if our westernmost locations in central Pennsylvania get into a, a, a shower very late in the day. So we'll keep very isolated chances in, in the forecast for that in our local forecasts. Uh, but I think most of the day for most areas is going to be dry during the day and very warm. Temperatures are going to bump up again a couple more degrees. So we're kind of like 85, 86-ish for highs here on uh, on Monday. And uh, once we get into Monday night, you get those showers rotating through in a few spots. And then we get to Tuesday, uh, we have the uh, cold front, the trailing cold front is going to move through. And there will be some prefrontal activity and maybe in the morning, maybe a scattered shower, thunderstorm in the afternoon. Mainly favoring the eastern areas. And actually taking a look at the GFS, it's a little further east than this. So it's gonna be, this is going to be fine-tuned a little bit. This might just be a morning deal for some areas on Tuesday with some prefrontal showers. And then the scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day might not happen unless you're in New Jersey. So we'll see. This is something we're definitely have to uh, monitor very closely. So if you're in Pennsylvania, that front might come through a little bit sooner. But either way, temperatures are going to be very similar here on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with temperatures in the, uh, hovering right around the middle 80s for highs. Then we are back to partly cloudy skies here on Wednesday. Another little disturbance off to the north will might through, get, get, get some northern areas, some showers late in the day here on Wednesday and that's it uh, but other than that we are, are partly cloudy elsewhere again middle 80s now once we get to the end of the week we're gonna have winds coming in from this uh, still coming in from the uh, uh, west northwest or northwest so we're still going to be kind of lower humidity behind that frontal boundary that comes through on Tuesday the only difference is uh, well with that front itself it's not gonna do anything to the temperatures in fact it's gonna maintain temperatures behind it and then we're gonna increase toward the end of the week uh, with temperatures but the flow is still going to be west northwest so that means the humidity is not going to be too high even though the temperatures are going to uh, uh, increase a little bit uh, and actually might increase a lot toward the end of the week the models are suggesting this is a look at the end of next week thursday friday saturday time frame you see some 90s popping up here we have not seen 90s in this area uh, so far this year pretty much anywhere so this would be uh, and there's, there's several 90s popping up here, and this is not just, uh, you know, one model showing this. Actually, if you look at the uh, GFS, that has the heat island effect and has some 95 plus readings here. I think that's incorrect, uh, but that's just something that model does and focuses on the urban areas for heat islands. But uh, either way, I do see a, a, a good chance that, that we're going to have at least our southern areas away from the Poconos, away from northern New Jersey to see our first 90 degree readings of the year for some locations because we haven't seen them in most locations so far through june or may or june really so uh, we have it came close a couple times but uh not above 90 we were in our official forecast for the southeastern pa region which serves the philadelphia area we do have 90 on both thursday and friday as the forecast high so keep that in mind it won't be a really hot humid type thing because of that west northwesterly flow but we will get much warmer as we head toward the end of the week and if you looked at our projections for June, we we uh, forecast uh, a plus one to plus four above average month, and that's a large in large part why most areas are kind of like hanging near normal. 
uh, or maybe plus one, something like that right now. But we're finishing plus one to plus four because of this heat that's coming in this week. And that's going to end the month on a very warm note, it looks like. But we do expect that once we get to the end of the week, we are still mostly sunny here on, on Thursday. And here is Friday, also mostly sunny. No precipitation to deal with at all. So we are going through a relatively dry stretch. I know we have this uh, front coming through Monday night, warm front, maybe Tuesday morning, a shower with a cold front or a storm. But other than that, we really don't have much to deal with this week. So it should be a pretty good week where we take a break from all the heavy precipitation that we had. And uh, we'll be looking forward to that, certainly, because we can certainly use a drier week after what we've been dealing through, through not just last week, but going way back into time over a year, in fact where we've had uh, just rain after rain after rain. It'll be nice to get a break this week. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. So that is your outlook for the weekend, June 22nd and 23rd, 2019. Have a wonderful Saturday and Sunday.